Gospel of John, Chapter 7, The Feast of Tabernacles, John 7, 1, 2, KJV. After these things, Jesus walked in Galilee, for he would not walk in Jewry, because the Jews sought to kill him. Now the Jews' Feast of Tabernacles was at hand. Jesus walked in Galilee. Galilee was a region in the north of Israel near the Sea of Galilee, for he would not walk in Jewry. Jewry was in the south in the area surrounding Jerusalem, Judea, and the land of the tribe of Benjamin. Daniel 5 verse 13 and Luke 23 5. The Jews' Feast of Tabernacles in Genesis 13 17 is called Sukkoth or Booths. Leviticus 23 34 43 and Nehemiah 8 13 16. It is to last seven days. Deuteronomy 16 to 16. It is also called the Feast of the Ingathering. It is also when the rebuilt temple was rededicated in 1 Kings 8.13, Leviticus 23.33-36. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of this seventh month shall be the Feast of Tabernacles for seven days unto the Lord. On the first day shall be an holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work therein. Seven days ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. On the eighth day shall be an holy convocation unto you, and ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. It is a solemn assembly, and ye shall do no servile work therein. John 7, 3, 5, KJV. His brethren therefore said unto him, Depart hence and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, shew thyself to the world. For neither did his brethren believe in him. His brethren, this is speaking about Jesus' half-brothers, James, who later became the pastor of the church in Jerusalem, was Jesus' half-brother, along with Jude, who wrote the book of Jude. They became believers after their half-brother Jesus had risen from the dead. John 7, 6-11, KJV. Then Jesus said unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Go ye up unto this feast, I go not up yet unto this feast, for my time is not yet full come. When he had said these words unto them, he abode still in Galilee. But when his brethren were gone up, then went he also up unto the feast, not openly, but as it were in secret. Then the Jews sought him at the feast and said, Where is he? My time is not yet come. His time to go to the feast safely was not yet. Your time is always ready. They could have gone to the feast safely any time they wanted to. The world cannot hate you because they were still of the world as unbelievers. John 7, 12 to 18. And there was much murmuring among the people concerning him. For some said he is a good man. Others said nay, but he deceiveth the people. Howbeit no man spake openly of him for fear of the Jews. Now about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters, having never learned? Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory, but he that seeketh his glory that sent him, the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. How knoweth this man letters? Jesus knew the letters because as John chapter 1 taught us, Jesus was the word that became flesh. If any man will do his will, he shall know the doctrine. God's will is that Israel believe on Jesus as the Christ, the Son of the living God. Matthew sixteen sixteen, John seven nineteen twenty four. KJV, did not Moses give you the law, and yet none of you keepeth the law? Why go ye about to kill me? The people answered and said, Thou hast a devil who goeth about to kill thee. Jesus answered and said unto them, I have done one work, and ye all marvel. Moses therefore gave unto you circumcision, not because it is of Moses, but of the fathers. And ye on the Sabbath day circumcise a man. 
if a man on the Sabbath day receive circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken? Are ye angry at me, because I have made a man every whit whole on the Sabbath day? Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. I have done one work, and ye all marvel. Jesus made a man completely whole on the Sabbath day. John seven twenty five to 27 KV. Then said some of them of Jerusalem, Is not this he whom they seek to kill? But lo, he speaketh boldly, and they say nothing unto him. Do the rulers know indeed that this is the very Christ? Howbeit we know this man whence he is, but when Christ cometh, no man knoweth whence he is. We know this man whence he is. These thought they knew that Jesus came from Nazareth, but he actually came from Bethlehem. They supposed he was the son of Joseph, but Jesus was conceived by the Holy Ghost and was the son of God that came from heaven. Psalm 2 and Luke 3, 23. John seven twenty eight to 29, KJV. Then cried Jesus in the temple as he taught, saying, Ye both know me, and ye know whence I am, and I am not come of myself, but he that sent me is true, whom ye know not. But I know him, for I am from him, and he hath sent me. John seven nineteen twenty four, KJV. Did not Moses give you the law? And yet none of you keepeth the law. Why go ye about to kill me? The people answered and said, Thou hast a devil who goeth about to kill thee. Jesus answered and said unto them, I have done one work, and ye all marvel. Moses therefore gave unto you circumcision, not because it is of Moses, but of the fathers. And ye on the Sabbath day circumcise a man. If a man on the Sabbath day receive circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken. Are ye angry at me, because I have made a man every whit whole on the Sabbath day? Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. I have done one work, and ye all marvel. Jesus made a man completely whole on the Sabbath day. John seven twenty five to 27 KV. Then said some of them of Jerusalem, Is not this he whom they seek to kill? But lo, he speaketh boldly, and they say nothing unto him. Do the rulers know indeed that this is the very Christ? Howbeit we know this man whence he is, but when Christ cometh, no man knoweth whence he is. We know this man whence he is. These thought they knew that Jesus came from Nazareth, but he actually came from Bethlehem. They supposed he was the son of Joseph, but Jesus was conceived by the Holy Ghost and was the son of God that came from heaven. Psalm 2 and Luke 3, 23. John 7, 28, 20 JV. Then cried Jesus in the temple as he taught, saying, Ye both know me, and ye know whence I am. And I am not come of myself, but he that sent me is true, whom ye know not. But I know him, for I am from him, and he hath sent me. He hath sent me to tabernacle among them. John seven thirty. Then they sought to take him, but no man laid hands on him, because his hour was not yet come. His hour was not yet come. His hour to be arrested and tried. John seven thirty one thirty six. And many of the people believed on him and said, When Christ cometh, will he do more miracles than these which this man hath done? The Pharisees heard that the people murmured such things concerning him, and the Pharisees and the chief priests sent officers to take him. Then said Jesus unto them, Yet a little while am I with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. Ye shall seek me and shall not find me, and where I am thither ye cannot come. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go, that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles, and teach the Gentiles? What manner of saying is this that he said, Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am thither ye cannot come? I go unto him that sent me, God sent Jesus from heaven, and he will return to sit at his right hand. Psalm of 10, a Psalm of David. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Where I am, thither ye cannot come. He was going to heaven after his death on the cross. The dispersed among the Gentiles, the dispersed Jews in the Gentile lands. God had dispersed them for their disobedience to his covenant. Ezekiel 12, 20-15 KJV And I will scatter toward every wind all that are about him to help him and all his bands. And I will draw out the sword after them, and they shall know that I am the Lord when I shall scatter them among the nations and disperse them in the countries.
John 7, 37, 38 KV. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. In the last day, that great day of the feast, the last day of the feast of tabernacles is a high Sabbath. If any man thirst, these are partial quotes from Jeremiah 2, 13 and Isaiah 53, John 7, 39, KJV, But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Joel 2, 2, KJV, A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. Acts 2.14 KJV But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. The Holy Ghost was not yet given. This occurred on Pentecost, Acts 2, 1 to 18. When John speaks of Jesus not yet being glorified, he is referring to his resurrection. John 7, 40 to 41, KJV. Many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying, said of a truth, this is the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But some said, shall Christ come out of Galilee, the prophet? that Moses spoke of in Deuteronomy 18.15, The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken. The Christ, the Anointed One, John 7.40.43 KV, Hath not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the seed of David and out of the town of Bethlehem where David was? So there was a division among the people because of him, Micah 5, 2. But thou, Bethlehem of Ephratah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. They knew Jesus as Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph, however. Luke 3 and John 6, 42. John seven forty four to 49 And some of them would have taken him, but no man laid hands on him. Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees, and they said unto them, Why have ye not brought him? The officers answered, Never man spake like this man. Then answered them the Pharisees, Are ye also deceived? Have any of the rulers or of the Pharisees believed on him? But this people who knoweth not the law are cursed. The officers, the enforcers of the temple, who did the bidding of the chief priests and Pharisees. John seven fifty to 53 KJV Nicodemus saith unto them, he that came to Jesus by one of them, doth our law judge any man before it hear him and know what he doeth? They answered and said unto him, Art thou also of Galilee? Search and look, for out of Galilee ariseth no prophet. And every man went unto his own house. Out of Galilee ariseth no prophet. They were wrong because Jonah was from the Galilee. He came from Gath Hefer, the prophet. Nahum was also from Galilee as well. Gospel of John chapter 8, ye are of your father, the devil. John 8, 1 to 5, KJV, Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? In the midst, inside a circle, taken in adultery in the very act, they caught her in bed with another man that was not her husband. John 8, 6 to 11, KJV. This they said, tempting him that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, 
let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Let him cast a stone at her. It was first practiced in Egypt, but God commanded Israel under the law to stone people for grievous sins. Exodus 8, 26 KJV. And Moses said, It is not meet so to do. For we shall sacrifice the abomination of the Egyptians to the Lord our God. Lo, shall we sacrifice the abomination of the Egyptians before their eyes? And will they not stone us? KJV. Again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel, Whosoever he be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel, that giveth any of his seed unto Molech, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. The law was written on two stones, and the law required death by stoning for numerous offenses. Thine accusers, those who had accused her of adultery, were supposed to bring both guilty parties to be judged and condemned. They were jealous of Jesus, and they wanted to get Jesus to speak contrary to Moses' law, so they could get more people on their side in their attempt to get rid of him. Neither do I condemn thee to pass sentence of guilt upon someone. Deuteronomy 25, 1 KJV If there be a controversy between men and they come unto judgment that the judges may judge them, then they shall justify the righteous and condemn the wicked. Go and sin no more. She was to quit her adultery with this person. John 8, 12 KJV, then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. I am the light of the world. John 1, 9, the light of life. John 1, John 8, 13 to 14. The Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. Jesus answered and said unto them, Though I bear record of myself, Yet my record is true, for I know whence I came and whither I go, but ye cannot tell whence I come and whither I go. Whence I came from the Father in heaven, whither I go back to the Father in heaven. John 8, verse 15 to 18. Ye judge after the flesh, I judge no man. And yet if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I and the Father that sent me. It is also written in your law, that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. Deuteronomy 17.6 KJV At the mouth of two witnesses or three witnesses shall he that is worthy of death be put to death, but at the mouth of one witness he shall not be put to death. John 8, 19 to 25, KJV, then said they unto him, Where is thy father? Jesus answered, Ye neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. These words spake Jesus in the treasury as he taught in the temple, and no man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. Then said Jesus again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whither I go, ye cannot come. Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself? Because he saith, Whither I go, ye cannot come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Jesus saith unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning, If ye believe not that I am he, the Christ, the Son of the living God. Matthew 16, 16, Ye shall die in your sins. It means that they would be condemned because they did not believe in the Christ who could give them the remission of their sins. 1 Corinthians 5, 17, KJV. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain, Ye are yet in your sins. Colossians 2, 13 KV. And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, 
having forgiven you all trespasses. John 8, 26, 29, KJV. I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true, and I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he spake to them of the Father. Then said Jesus unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father hath taught me, I speak these things. And he that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. Lifted up the Son of Man to crucify him. John eight thirty to 32 KJV. As he spake these words, many believed on him. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. This is enduring unto the end. Matthew 20. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. We live in a different dispensation than they did, and we were never under the law. We in the body of Christ today have always been under grace. Romans six fourteen to 15 KJV. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. The truth shall make you free, free from the bondage of the traditions that turn Jews away from Christ. John 8, verse 33 to 36. K answered him. We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin, and the servant abideth not in the house for ever, but the son abideth ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. We be Abraham's seed, they are descendants of Abraham. The servant of sin, a slave to sin. The servant abideth not in the house for ever, The house is speaking about the house of God that is inhabited by the disciples of Christ, not those enslaved in sin. John 8, 37, 38. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. My father God, your father the devil. Verse 44 below. John 8, 39 to 40, KJV, they answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus saith unto them, if ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. This did not Abraham. Abraham did not try to kill Jesus when he appeared to him to tell him the truth about his future. Genesis 12, 1 to 4. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will shew thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abram departed as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. And Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. EJV, ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. We be not born of fornication. They were accusing Jesus of having two fathers, one being Joseph and the other, other, whoever they were accusing Mary of fornicating with. We have one father, even God. Jesus responds in verse 44. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, ye would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? I proceeded forth and came from God. Luke one thirty five, John eight forty four to forty five, KJV. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Your father the devil, their works were of the devil like Cain's, First John 3, 12, KJV, not as Cain, 
who was of that wicked one and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. He was a murderer from the beginning. He caused all mankind to have a death sentence upon them. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. And First John 3, 12. He is a liar and the father of it. The first lie came from the devil in the Garden of Eden. Genesis 3, 4 KJV. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. John Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my Father that honoreth me, of whom ye say that he is your God, yet ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say, I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you, but I know him and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Then took they up stones to cast at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it. Jesus appeared unto Abraham as a man, and there were with him two angels who appeared as men. Genesis 18, 133. Before Abraham was, I am, Jesus was declaring that he existed before Abraham. He used the title that God used to identify himself to Moses, Exodus 3, 13 to 14, KJV. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers hath sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. They took they up stones to cast at him. John ten thirty one, Gospel of John chapter 9, The Light of the World. John 9, verse 1 to 2. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? How could the disciples think this man had sinned before he was born? He couldn't have. Could his parents have sinned and caused this man to have been born blind? Yes, but that was not so in this case. Can a mother drink in excess and their child be born with alcohol fetal syndrome? Yes. Exodus 25 KJV. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Exodus 34. Keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. And that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children unto the third and to the fourth generation. Numbers 14 KKJV. The Lord is long suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. Deuteronomy 5 verse 9 KJV. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them nor serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. John 9, 3, KJV, Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. The works of God should be made manifest in him. The works of God are his healing people, so they can become priests in their coming kingdom. Exodus 19, 5, 6, KJV. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Leviticus 21, 18 to 21. For whatsoever man he be that hath a blemish, he shall not approach, a blind man or a lame, or he that hath a flat nose, or anything superfluous, or a man that is broken-footed or broken-handed, or crook-backed or a dwarf, or that hath a blemish in his eye, or be scurvy or scabbed, or hath his stones broken, 
No man that hath a blemish of the seed of Aaron the priest shall come nigh to offer the offerings of the Lord made by fire. He hath a blemish. He shall not come nigh to offer the bread of his God. John 9, 4-5, KJV, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. I must work the works of him that sent me. The works were his dying for our sin, preaching the gospel, binding the devil, healing the sick, cleansing the leper, raising the dead, and training the twelve apostles to carry on in his absence. The night cometh when no man can work. This is speaking of the time of Jacob's trouble, a time of great darkness. Isaiah 61 to 5 KV. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about, and see. All they gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy sons shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see, and flow together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee, the forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. John 9 KJV When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground, and made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay, and said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation, sent. He went his way therefore, and washed, and came seeing. He anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. One of the many other works of God that Jesus was to work, was the opening of blind eyes. Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, Nehemiah 3.15 KJV. But the gate of the fountain repaired Shilom the son of Colhosa, the ruler of part of Mizpah. He built it and covered it and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof and the bars thereof, and the wall of the pool of Silo by the king's garden, and unto the stairs that go down from the city of David. For as much as this people refuseth the waters of Shiloah that go softly, and rejoice in Rezin and Remaliah's son, Luke 13, 4 KJV, or those eighteen upon whom the tower in Siloam fell and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? Sent Jesus sent him to a pool of water to wash in. This is the pool that many in Jerusalem would purify themselves in before the feasts. Psalm 146, 8. The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind. The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. John 11, P. And the Jews' Passover was nigh at hand. And many went out of the country up to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. John 9, 8 to 16. The neighbors therefore and they which before had seen him that he was blind said, Is not this he that sat and begged? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. But he said, I am he. Therefore said they unto him, How were thine eyes opened? He answered and said, A man that is called Jesus made clay and anointed mine eyes and said unto me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. And I went and washed and I received sight. Then said they unto him, Where is he? He said, I know not. They brought to the Pharisees him that aforetime was blind. And it was the Sabbath day when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes. Then again, the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. He said unto them, He put clay upon mine eyes, and I washed and do see. Therefore said some of the Pharisees, This man is not of God, because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. Others said, How can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? And there was a division among them. This man is not of God, because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. Jesus would show the spiritual leaders their hypocrisy by showing them that it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath day. Matthew 12 to 12 KJV. And when he was departed thence, he went into their synagogue, and behold, there was a man which had his hand withered. And they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days, that they might accuse him? And he said unto them, What man shall there be among you that shall have one sheep, and if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, 
Will he not lay hold on it and lift it out? How much then is a man better than a sheep? Wherefore it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath days. John 9 verse 722. They say unto the blind man again, What sayest thou of him that he hath opened thine eyes? He said he is a prophet, but the Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight until they called the parents of him that had received his sight. And they asked them, saying, Is this your son, who ye say was born blind? How then doth he now see? His parents answered them and said, We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind. But by what means he now seeth, we know not. Or who hath opened his eyes, we know not. He is of age. Ask him, he shall speak for himself. These words spake his parents, because they feared the Jews. For the Jews had agreed already that if any man did confess that he was Christ, he should be put out of the synagogue. He is of age. Ask him. His parents chose membership in the synagogue over suffering reproach outside the camp with their Savior. Because they denied him, he would deny them. Matthew 10:33 JV But whosoever shall deny me before men him will I also deny before my father which is in heaven John 9:23 to 24 Therefore said his parents he is of age ask him then again called they the man that was blind and said unto him give God the praise we know that this man is a sinner he is of age he is an adult John 9:25 to 30 KJV, he answered and said, Whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know, that whereas I was blind, now I see. Then said they to him again, What did he to thee? How opened he thine eyes? He answered them, I have told you already, and ye did not hear. Wherefore would ye hear it again? Will ye also be his disciples? Then they reviled him and said, Thou art his disciple, but we are Moses' disciples. We know that God spake unto Moses, as for this fellow, we know not from whence he is. The man answered and said unto them, Why herein is a marvelous thing, that ye know not from whence he is, and yet he hath opened mine eyes from whence he is? Where was his message and ministry from? John nine thirty one to 33 Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God, and doeth his will, him he heareth. Since the world began, was it not heard that any man opened the eyes of one that was born blind? If this man were not of God, he could do nothing. Isaiah 35 KJV, then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. John 9 34 KG, they answered and said unto him, Thou waste altogether born in sins, and dost thou teach us? And they cast him out. Thou waste altogether born in sins? They said he was born blind because of his parents' sins, and they were denying that they were born sinners. Exodus 25 KJV Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Exodus 34 and KJV, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children um, unto the third and to the fourth generation, number 14, 18, KJV. The Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. Deuteronomy 5, 9, KJV. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Romans 5, 19, KJV. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. The cast him out, he was cast out of the synagogue, the same synagogue his parents remained in for fear of the religious. Verse 22 above, John 9, 35 to 36. Jesus heard that they had cast him out, and when he had found him, he said unto him, Dost thou believe on the Son of God? He answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I might believe on him? Dost thou believe on the Son of God? In order to go into the kingdom, a Jew had to believe that Jesus was the Christ, 
listen to God. Matthew 16, KJV. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. John 9, 37, 39. And Jesus said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that talketh with thee. And he said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. And Jesus said, For judgment I am come into this world, that they which see not might see, and that they which see might be made blind. Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. He called him Lord, because he believed he was the Son of God. He worshipped him, because only God could heal someone. For judgment I am come into this world. He judged those who could not see that he came from God as spiritually blind. Verse 41 below. John 9, 40, 41, KJV. And some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words and said unto him, Are we blind also? Jesus said unto them, If ye were blind, ye should have no sin. But now ye say, We see, therefore your sin remaineth. We see, these were those who claimed they had spiritual understanding. Your sin remaineth. Their sin of not recognizing, seeing for themselves Jesus came from and who he was by the works that he did. 